Houston welcomes nearly more asylum seekers than any other U.S. city, and many of them right now are coming from Afghanistan. As we discovered, their lives are changing, and it's due in large part to Houston's hospitality. These were images hard to watch for people who spent years in Afghanistan. I was shocked, and I still cannot believe that what, you know, the army and the U.S. forces have done for 20 years. Matthew Abid spent six years as an interpreter with the Marines in Afghanistan. A decade ago, he got a visa in Eid Houston after talking to Marines. I asked him, I said, what is the best place that I can live? And they said, hey, come to Houston. Diversity is here. Uh, you will love the city. A city that welcomed him from the start. They gave me a ride to the store. They took me to uh, the restaurant. Uh, and they were like very friendly faces in my neighborhood when I moved. And actually, those memories I can never forget. Memories he's now giving himself. Abid is a caseworker with Catholic Charities. We have uh, over 700 refu Afghan refugees that just arrived within the last uh, 90 days. People finding it easier to get assistance. Catholic Charities just opened a new Cabrini Center in the Galleria. In the past, services would be scattered across the city. Now it's in this one location. Abid says the agency helps, but they could always use more. One of the ways that you can sponsor a family, uh, directly be in contact with the family. Assistance that means even more this holiday season. After a difficult end to the war in Afghanistan, many refugees are settling in Houston and enjoying the holidays. They saw it in the movies, but now they see things in real life. And they see the, the neighborhoods are like lightening up. So they're so happy. Catholic Charities Cabrini Center helps all kinds of asylum seekers, and they've stayed busy even during the pandemic. The center helps 15,000 people a year. If you need assistance or know someone that does, we have the information on our website. Just head to abc13.com. In downtown, Nick Notorio, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.